Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Bruna Batsman, the golden king's heart is soft, but his axe is sharp. And his adopted daughter, Catibri, a deadly archer, destined to be a leader. They will resist. Newly crowned king of the Reghead Barbarians. Wolfgar, son of Beornagar. If he can master his rage, he will be dangerous. To Worden, the drow outcast. Few can match his deadly speed. He could be the key to everything. They care for each other. Something to be exploited, perhaps. But their bond is strong. Regardless, they failed to secure the shard from that fool, Kessel. It's out there, exposed for the taking. And now, it will be mine. Wow, big intro, what? Hey there folks, welcome ye all to Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. I've been meaning to give this a go for a little while, and I don't really know too much about how this has been received, but, you know, RPG, let's give it a whirl. Let's crack straight in, shall we? A to start. Okay, let's have a quick look at the options, just see what's in there. A gameplay vibration function on. Alright, okay. Control scheme. Graphics. Safe zones. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything new gen to. Oh, hello. Players outlines. Yeah, okay. Sounds will keep as is. HUD as is, camera as is, language, accessibility, legal, blah. Okay. Seem reasonable. Let's do this. I'm thinking bow character, if I can find it. Uh, new character, yes, please. Drist Durden. He's a drow race. And... Yeah, sorry. Pause there for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> he is a drow race. He's a class of ranger and chaotic good alignment. Duelist slash assassin. Catty Bree is a human. All right, he was a drow. Human, class fighter, alignment chaotic good, a role archer sniper. Which I'm liking the feel of. Oh, the, the attributes as well, but he had seven strength, ten dexterity, seven con institution, we assume that is. Six intuition, five wisdom, oh intelligence maybe, that might be. Five wisdom and five charisma, maybe. Alright, so she's got Oh, she's got lower, lower strength and lower dex. It's a bit harsh. But she's got higher... Constitu... Uh, yeah, her stats are in the... In, well, intuition or intelligence. I think it might be intelligence. 
All right, I'm going to go with the bow. I feel uh, he's got high strength, obviously. Wolfgar. Race human, class barbarian. Alignment chaotic good. Roll Athalt Shock Troop. He's got a massive amount of strength. Low dex. Big constitution. Big constitution. Itty bitty living space. Big strength on the dwarf as well, to be fair. Bruenor Battlehammer. Good dwarven name, isn't it? Race shield dwarf, class fighter, alignment neutral, good. Roll tank. <laughs> tank. Constitution 10. Nice. I feel like the bow one is kind of... Oh, I suppose nine decks is pretty good, but it's still not as good as this dude, isn't it? I'm just not feeling her character. I, you know, I would normally go bow. Alright, let's do it, Steve. Pick one. The decision is made. Kren Shinnabon. The Crystal Shark. Forged from the magic of seven liches, but with a treacherous will of its own. For thousands of years, the shard lay forgotten beneath the snows of Icewind Dale. There it waited, until some fool, a would-be wizard lusting for power beyond his due, answered the shard's call. A car Kessel claimed the shard, and used its power to summon armies of evil creatures to his banner. From his crystal tower, he set them loose upon the Dale and the people of Ten Towns. But we would not stand by and watch this tyrant destroy our homes. We companions rallied the united peoples of Ten Towns and held our ground at the walls of Bryn Shanda. chased Kessel to the slopes of Kelvin's cave. When the Shard realized that we had won, it abandoned him. It disappeared once again under the snows, along with Kessel itself. With Kessel gone, we thought the war was over. We were wrong. Though the Crystal Shard was lost, still it called to those who craved power. Its call was strong. And from across the realms they came. But we answered a call of our own. A call to stand together against this dark alliance. And defend our home against the threat of Kred Shinnabon. Oh, nice. Straight in. Oh, hello. A little bit of a 60 FPS going on here, people. I like it. I wouldn't mind the camera panning a bit quicker, though. Maybe. No, maybe not. Caddy Bree, your good friend Regis told me all about you. Cardic Stone Roller here. Anything you need, just step up to my booth. Regis came back. Merchant. Why didn't he stay? We Free health potions, compliments of Regis. I've got a store full of them. If and when you need more. Whatever. He left me here to make sure you had everything you need. For a fair price, of course. Whoop. Hello there, Kenny Bree. Manage equipment. Skins. Upgrade material. I assume skins. I'm, I'm going to assume there's probably <laughs> online purchases in this game, possibly. Maybe not. I just feel like this is something that's meant to be an online co op experience or what have you. It was in Games Pass as it happens, this game. I've got coin to spend. Take so hang on a minute. Where do I buy... Oh, that's his stuff, not my stuff. Right, okay. Ah, select. There we go. How much money have I got? Have I got any? Nope. Zero gold coins down in the bottom left there by the looks of it. 
Although, it just seems to say manage equipment, doesn't it? Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, well, we just assume we can't do anything at the moment. Current session offline. That seems reasonable. Reward chest is empty. We'll get that from doing some action, we think. World map. To access the campaign, interact with the world map. Start with the Trials of Tempest, where you can practice combat with Tempest, the Lord of Battles. Okay. Complete quests from the world map to progress through the campaign. Each quest is made of three acts. There is a... Seems reasonable. And then we've got a Y for health and uh, maybe. We've got two Ys for some reason. Hold Y and Y, presumably. Right, let's get it. Let's get to it. Trials of Tempest. Shouldn't you be out there finding good stuff to sell me? Two, one. I see you there, baddies. It had been set before you, Catty Bree. Show me what that bow can do. Okay. Uh, fierce attacks. I can smell your dwarf stink. More practice is required. Oh, nice. Can do backflips. Like it. And the dodge. Combine light and fierce attacks. All right, here we go. Hold LT and what? All right, let's get a charged attack. Goblin raiders. Perform light attacks. Oh, nice. Out. 
More practice. There's a lock on, I didn't realize. Stop jumping around! Is this going forever or what what? <laughs> Thank you. You will become a leader of armies. Sweet. It's time for fighting. A warrior is constantly tested. Uh, uh, now comes your next uh, hey. question. Evade. I can't get the archer. You fight well for one so young. What might you achieve, I wonder? Tap twice to perform a dash. Uh. Uses more stamina though. LB to block. All oh, right. Parry. Right. Okay. No, that wasn't. Not quite right. Really. Nice. Come on now, that should have been a parry. Okay, that's winding me up this parry business now. Oh, nice. Finisher. Kill these suckers! Ta -da! Go for suck! Ta -da! Can't quite time their attacks properly. That'll do.
I'm assuming he's going to tell me when I'm done. <laughs> Come on, you. Come on, you. yourself a true warrior, Category, and you will become a leader of our For the battle hammers! Oh, nice. <laughs> Didn't even notice that kick in. Legendary resistance. Lock on. Ultimate. Fill up the ultimate bar before performing combos. Health potions restore with your health. Press up, down, blah. I missed that. Ultimates are very powerful abilities. That's a move. So if you hold down Y, you get a move. If you tap it, you get health, I think. All oh, right, that's some sort of spirit healing. The it's actually up on the D-pad to do the health potion itself. X button to immediate. Uh So every time I hit them, if I hit X afterwards, I get an empowered strike. Or maybe not. 
Nice. Did that. Fucking hell, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, nice. There's actually a little part of me now wishing I'd gone with the dagger guy. Quite like the melee stuff. Now we're getting it. Nobody's sure what I'm aiming for here. How long does he want me to do this for? Like, what are you waiting for? Archer! 
Come on now. <laughs> For the battle hammer! Oh, I've just realized what it wants me to do. Drink a healing potion. Fuck's sake. There is yet untapped power within you, Kenny. <laughs> Could have finished that a lot earlier. Fill the old... Oh, right, okay. I've just noticed it's so small at the top of the right of the screen. I didn't even see it. Oh, well. It's practice nonetheless. Arrows of might! Everybody, attack! Huh? Goblins. Activate ultimate. Mighty arrows. There we go. It's all coming together now, people. You have learned your lesson as well. Ooh, empowered strike done. Open the chest, thank you. There's yet untapped power within you. Looting. Collect loot from opening chests and defeating foes. Loot can be collected from Kelvin's Cairn at the reward chest. Well, we got there in the end. Probably could have done that about 10 minutes quicker. Go to the map area. You people are so lucky out here. I mean, what would you do without me? Hey. Oh, hello. Reveal the loot. Tundra Explorer Quiver. Takes my armor up by two, charisma up by one, dexterity up by one. Three pieces, plus 5% physical damage bonus. Five pieces, plus 15%, eight pieces. A successful parry grants the precision strikes buff. Quick equip, yes please. Trophy time. Well, achievement time, I should say. So what are you Equip doing? first item of any rarity. This, like always. Is that a forge? Oh, review trophies. I have no trophies. Come on now. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it told me to do to go home. I thought it said on that map. But the only place I can go... Oh, there we go. Companions of Icewind. Right, so it's locked until it's broken. The United Peoples of Icewind. It was not. The United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his crystal tower. But the dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun. Their people fleeing the valley. We rush to their aid, fighting our way through the goblins in Verbeeg to find the goblin commander and put an end to this siege. Alright, so you get to pick out the difficulty setting for what you want to do. Adventurer... 
hero. Well, we could try hero. It's not a huge. Well, it's just more gold, isn't it? More shiny gold. Oh, com recommended combat score. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Uh, let's try an adventurer one, just to see how we get on. If you're short on coin, I suggest you go, you know, collect some. Here goes nothing. Goblins at the gates. Well, a uh, companions of Icewind Dale goblins at the gates. Yeah, I don't know if it was my headphones that were cutting out or whether it was the game that was cutting out at this stage. So apologies if it was the game, but there wasn't anything I could do about it. Really. The battle hammer dwarves were driven out of. Seems to be okay at the minute. Turned into a clan of refugees before they settled here. As long as I can draw an arrow, I won't let them be pushed out of another home. Gameplay essentials: attack. The road ahead is dangerous and overrun with foul creatures. Drawn to battle by the shards of ominous power. Press RB to perform light attack. Oh, yeah, okay, I know that. Performing actions, combat was you know, stamina meter. Right, so I didn't actually have to do that initial battle, really. It's going to tell me it all again anyway. <laughs> Special attacks, lower your stamina bar. Yeah, okay. Defend with LB, parry. Evade once, dash, yeah. Okay. Good looking game, like. Looking pretty. Well, there's an eye opener, and no mistake. Two hundred and four shiny gold. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? I'm not allowed to kick them then. Uh, what's happening? Well, that was a bit weird. The battle hammer dwarves were driven out of Mithril Hall and turned into a clan of refugees before they set. Missed out the first time. As long as I can draw an arrow, I won't let them be pushed out of another home. I will right, we'll try that again, people, shall we? Yeah, the chest stays open. That's good. That was weird. What was that all about? Must have frozen me or something, right? I'm not, I'm not going to kill another one. Sabotage the place. 
bridges, exploding cliffs, Locate the invading force. Destroy the supply camp's ballista. Seems reasonable. Exploding barrel. That'll do nicely. Goblins, goblins, goblins. It's out of range. <coughs> oh, it's dusty in this cave. Oh, hello. Our action on. Grab her bow. Okay, I'm noticing that the follow up special attack isn't anything awesome at the moment. It's a bit limited. Campfires and short rests. Campfires appear when all monsters in a certain area have been slain. Taking a short rest will replenish usables, abilities, and serve as a checkpoint. When, in, when a short rest is used, defeated monsters will respawn. If unused, short rests give a bonus to loot rarity. Okay. Well, we can keep going, can't we? I think. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't get. Uh, I've now run out of it. I only had a certain amount of time to do it, I think. So there we go. There two ways to go here. Ah! Destroy the ballista. Retrieve Dwarven Mugs. I've got one of eight. Defeat Mog Thump the Sticker. Uncommon Crystal. Oh, right, okay. Right, we're going to have to start... Oh, hello. Collect. Guild. Right, so there is reason to pause and collect rather than just keep running and looking for the next fight. Have a, what's this over here? One tome. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we've had a bit of a tutorial, a bit of a fight, and a bit of an opening. So I think at 45 minutes we'll call that the first part. And we shall carry on with part two from this very location and show off... Uh, a lot more of this area. In fact, hopefully the whole area, possibly even another area. I don't know how big the areas are. So until we find out a bit more, I shall pause it there and I shall see you all in part two. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance and I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.